I'm going to give you guys a new word to learn, okay? Thrust. Can everyone say thrust? thrust? Thrust is the motion when you have the air inside of the balloon. Thrust is what propels it to go forward. It is in this video, you'll see youth engaged in an active learning experience to learn about thrust. Notice how staff encourage youth to test and isolate variables on each balloon rocket run. I'm looking for an explanation as to why it was slower. The way it's like blocking it, like a brick wall and, a, and a, like a other brick. It doesn't let it go. That's a great explanation. Listen for the ways in which the adults ask children for alternative opinions, support continued questioning, and allow youth to describe what they are doing and what they are thinking about to others. So who can tell me what things made it go fast and smooth? If you make it very big and it's like, and the string's very long, it can go hecka fast. Very good. It needs as much air as it possibly can to be able to push it. Mr. Silva was using the word thrust from this side of the room to that side of the room. If you have two big balloons, um, and you could tie it across the room, and then it'll go extra fast. And he thinks that if we did two balloon rockets on one string, then it'll go super fast because it has double the amount of air. Very good idea. Very good thought. We're going to change it up. Now we're going to do the size of the balloon. I need you guys to blow really, really, really small balloons about this big. Three. Yeah. Tell me why you think the balloon went slow this time. Because um, there's only a little bit of air to push it out. Yes, there is not enough air to have a good amount of thrust. 